there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and this is part two of the color page. A few months ago, I did the color wheel, and I'll link you to that video at the end of this one if you missed it. But I wanted to talk about the next page. I've had a couple people ask, what is that page for, and why would you do that, and what does it matter? And there is a reason for it. Because a lot of people say, I just don't know what colors to use. How do I know what colors go together? And a lot of it is very subjective. I, there's no rules about it, but this page will give you, I hope, some ideas to get you started. There's just a couple different combinations that are very common. And the first one is triadic, which is using three colors that are equidistant from each other. So yellow, red, and blue are equidistant, and then there's orange, violet, and green. And you can just do all different kinds of combinations, just count on the color wheel that you've already colored or painted, and you can use any medium you want for any of these. I switched to pencil after I did that first one in watercolor because I just felt like it. <laughs> and this page is one that you can go back to later on if you're stumped on colors, that you wanna try a different color combination on a Bible page, but you just don't really know what to do. These triadic ones tend to be more happy, kind of childlike ones because they're colors that are really different from each other. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. And it can be two, three, four, five colors that are in succession. And of course, on a color wheel, you have you know 20 colors within each one of those sections, 20 shades. So you don't have to be locked into only using those particular ones, but anything that's right next to each other on the color wheel is gonna be very pleasing and very calming in some fashion. It's colors that go together really well, they coordinate nicely. You can use darker and lighter versions of each of those. Doesn't have to be all in the same, same tone range, but those will just give you a very harmonized kind of look to whatever piece that you're creating. And you can go through each one of these. There's a bunch of hearts on here that you can just do a bunch of different color combinations and then use this page as a reference to go back to. And if you like a certain type of com color combination, this can be really helpful to give you ideas in the future. So for the next one, it's complementary colors. Complementary colors are opposite each other. So if you're using, you know, a red color, you want to look directly opposite the color wheel, and a green would be on the opposite side. And for those kinds of things, if you think about a garden that's full of green leaves and green weeds, if you're in my garden, <laughs> then all of a sudden if you have a red or a pink flower popping into that, it has a real strong contrast to it. You get a vibrancy in colors. So look at colors that are opposite each other when you're trying to choose something where you want an emphasis on a particular thing. Same thing if you think about your sofa. If your sofa is a blue sofa and you put an orange type of pillow on it, that orange pillow is gonna get all the attention because everything else around it is that blue. So you wanna kind of pair things in a way that drives emphasis to the things that you're interested in paying attention to. Now color temperature, I didn't include this, I should have included this on the graphic in the workbook, but there's a line drawn between the yellow green and the green and the red and the red violet and that's the line where on one side it's all warm colors and one side it's on cool colors. And there are people who will tell you that there are rules about you know you have to use warm colors for this and cool colors for that. I don't find that to always be true. I use the colors I like to use. But sometimes if you're trying to create a particular mood, it's helpful to know which ones feel warmer and which ones feel cooler. So if you're doing something very calming and and that sort of thing, you may want to use some cool colors. If you're trying to convey energy, then those warm colors are gonna make a big difference. So here you can do different combinations and then see what it feels like. So when you look at those little heart combinations that are there where you've got a couple colors from the, the warm section, the warm half of the color wheel, that gives you a certain kind of feeling when you look at it. And same thing for the cools. It's gonna give you a certain emotion that you might want to convey in your Bible journaling page. So all of this is just ideas. It's not any rules. 
there's no you have to use these colors together or you can't use those colors together it's just using using color theory in a way that might help to shake you out if you're always doing everything in pink and you want to know how do you break out of that pink try pairing your pink with something else in the color wheel and see what else happens you might find that you really like pink but boy what does yellow do for you how does yellow make you happy and so here's my finished page with all of the different colors on it and now I've got a whole collection of colors now that one I I ended up coloring the wrong color in it so scribbled it out this is a workbook remember that and now I've got all these different combinations though that I can come back and revisit in order to pick out a whole different type of color combination and these in particular I love complementary colors because they just have such punch to them and then there's just that harmony that you can get from colors that are all warm or all cool. So I hope this was helpful to you in how to use that page in Bible Journaling Made Simple Workbook. Use that in combination with the main book and you'll learn a whole lot about color. And I will see you guys again later or on the Facebook group. Links are in the doobly-doo down below. Thanks and God bless you.